Human rights activists in Kenya today joined the rest of the world in marking 70 years since the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly. But as Makori Ongechi reports, it is talk of human rights abuses, such as extrajudicial killings, that characterize the celebrations. 70 years later, the losses outweigh the gains. Milka Kamande knows that only too well. She says her 21-year-old son never deserved to die three years ago in what she believes was an extrajudicial killing. It is the same theme of illegal executions and forced disappearances that emerged in Mombasa as activists held peaceful demonstrations protesting the high number of youths who have disappeared mysteriously in the recent past. According to Francis Auma, the rapid response office at Muslims for Human Rights, over 30 young people have been gunned down in the coastal towns alone by people he believes are police officers. Several human rights groups among them the Kenya National Commission of Human Rights, International Commission of Jurists and National Coalition of Human Rights Defenders marked the day at the University of Nairobi. We realize that to completely eliminate cycles of violence and banditry, we should empower these communities economically and socially through education, provision of services and development of infrastructure in remote and inaccessible regions to lift the most vulnerable out of poverty. The 2018 Human Rights Survey by Amnesty International shows that human rights have improved in Kenya since the promulgation of the new constitution in 2010, while half of Kenyans do not believe that the law is applied equally. But all the same, human rights groups believe a lot needs to be done. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.